my presentation of the Louisiana flood of 2016. Throughout August 12th to August 18th, a devastating flood hit in 20 parishes in South Louisiana. Streets got turned into rivers, complete neighborhoods got flooded, and unfortunately, even the dead have suffered from this devastating flood. Let's move on to see the effect of this raging flood. This flood was so devastating, and it is best described from words of victims. A nine-year-old said, there wasn't even water on the streets. It... Then it was up to here. Then he covered his face with his arms and hands to disguise his tears. This flood even impacted some of our schools. Buses got grounded, classes got flooded, innocent piles of books got ruined. At the height of a crisis, around 60,000 people's homes were flooded and around 100,000 people were sent to shelter homes. This picture is a picture of um, a major shelter home. Our community came together to help flood victims. A group of volunteers called the Cajun Navy saved around a thousand people and pets. The Red Cross also took part of this great system of evacuation and rescue. Let's get more quantitative. I would like to share with you some rainfall statistics of the flood. This was an extremely rare event. It was a thousand year event, meaning it has 0.1 chance of happening in any given year. According to the Weather Channel, this flood has reached more rain, has had more rainfall than the amount of rainfall Los Angeles has had in the past four years. Four! This flood has also ranked decently in how it compares to other, others in the U.S., other natural disasters in the U.S. As you can see in this graph, the Louisiana flood beat the stats of Hurricane Katrina in terms of how many, how much rainfall fell in trillion gallons. This graph shows that the flood ranked the fifth, fifth in most deaths in a, in a U.S. natural disaster. The flood has also um, made rivers exceed normal gauge height. The Amit River near Baton Rouge exceeded all the way up to 48 feet, beating the normal, rec the highest recorded gauge height in this river, which was around 42 feet. This, the normal gauge height of this river is 17. This has also happened in other rivers, such as the Vermilion River. There are a couple of ways that I think we could help protect our communities from flooding. We should all construct buildings or homes one a couple of feet from the ground. And we should build higher and stronger levees along main rivers. I have drawn a picture of what happens when a levee is not high or strong enough. If it is not high enough, overtopping will happen and the city will flood. If it's not strong enough, there will be internal erosion where the levee breaks and the city will flood. Also, there will be overtopping, obviously. Um, there are just a couple of things I would like to conclude from some major points out.